welcome to the knowledge series for Yogakshema. I am joined by Dr. Usha Vastare, the founder of Yogakshema Rehabilitation and Wellness Center. Today's session, we will be covering mindful parenting. This is a bit of the crux of the way I see it, right? So, it's important for us to create the right values in our child. And one of the methods you are talking about, one of the ways to do it, especially in children before they have discerning power, is to create a culture around it. Uh, could you uh, give some specific examples and take it a little deeper? We want to inculcate bringing sharing, kindness into the kid. But you only have one kid. What is sharing to do with this? Yeah. You don't even have another sibling yes, to share. Absolutely. So it's a very tough one. So One I kid and four this, doting grandparents. Yeah, how will, I, exactly. How will you share? So this is where probably with this example we can cover not just one value but many different, yes. the culture itself can be, uh, the parents can learn. Then especially in this day and age when you have just one kid or two kids, still sharing with a sibling is one thing, sharing with others is another yes. thing. This is where as parents we need to know who the friends are for our, of our kids. It doesn't matter whatever age, who are their friends and their families. It is lot more work, Samit, at the end of the day. This is where, what I mean by it is, uh, parenting is joyous but still lot of work and this is the only way the parents can evolve. So uh, when we get to know who the friends are and the families are, we need to bring them over. We need to make friends with the friends of our kids and the families have to interact, socialize for the sake of it, kids, not for the sake of socializing. This is what I mean by going about in a structured manner. This becomes free time. Socializing is a part of free time, both for parents and for the kids. You can think of it that way. And that is where it's much easier to bring in the values of kindness and uh, sharing and being compassionate when the other kid also wants the same whatever dessert that your kid wants or the same slice of pizza. You know how young kids yeah, are yeah. and how, how do we deal with this as parents so we can bring in lot more. Ultimately, it's about open communication and also social behavior. Social intelligence is such an important aspect, not just in kids' life, even in an adult's life. Because there is a saying, Samit, you know, show me your friends, I will know, I will tell you where you're going to be in yeah. the future. Yeah. Show me just five of your friends, I will know. They can actually predict, right? So, how, how do we get this, uh, build up the social intelligence, not just in the school system, that dynamics is different, but at home. And especially now when both the parents are working, it is extremely hard to be socializing. But that's exactly what needs to be done in a structured manner for the sake of kids. So if I were to summarize that, the, the cultural influences that your child has, the social circle that your child has, has a significant Im impact on the value system. So that's the external world and you're saying a lot of our effort is in facilitating that uh, environment. But uh, before we, that, that is an important part. But within our own homes, uh, are there any uh, pointers from you in terms of how do I uh, create a culture around certain values? Very simple ways, you know, uh, again making this as a culture at home, to have at least one meal a day as a family. We have to have a, a single meal with the family together, That that's one. And then maybe at least once in a week to go visit the grandparents. And uh, once a week to go for some type of entertainment for the family. Whatever one time it may be what the parents like, another time what the kids like. And when we do that, take their friends along. 
this is where we bring in both uh, sharing compassion because the other kid might be uh, maybe learning music the, your kid's friend might be learning music but wouldn't be uh, clueless about a concert and make an effort to take your kid's friend who is learning music to a music concert yeah. and build that both values and culture together and especially the culture these days cannot be just limited to just our family members this is where the expansion has to happen to include the friends of our kids and in the same way our friends too as adults so that the kids would be Absolutely. exposed to the friends of the parents yes. I am coming into this uh, session as a parent of a teenager, right? And uh, before uh, we started this, I talked to a lot of my peers, and a lot of the questions I ask will be coming from what the parents of teenagers ask. And and the crux of a lot of questions has been the how do I inculcate a certain set of values, a certain set of good habits, a certain set of uh, discipline that I think has made a difference to me and I think is good for the child. How do I uh, inculcate these values? Another good one, uh, Samit. Um, out of all that, I'm going to hold on to the word you said about the discipline and the values and how do we inculcate this. So for that, rather than just giving what to do, what not to do, let me dive a little bit deeper into neuroscience yeah. angle yeah. and then it will make sense. Yes, this is not just for teenagers, but it will hold good for everybody, each and every parent. See that discipline, when we just use the word discipline now, as we know, the parents have to discipline. Whereas we, we as parents, in mindful parenting, we need to uh, help the kid develop its own discipline, self-discipline, which means we know we need to walk the talk, the kids don't listen to us, but they, they will do what, they, what we do. That's a no-brainer, I don't even need to go into that. Why that self-discipline is important, self-control, self-regulation is important, that we need to bring that up right from young age. Yeah. Even pre-kindergarten, even three-year-old, four-year-old, uh, as parents we can bring up the three and four-year-old uh, how to self-regulate either uh, and outwardly or inward through the emotions. Mm -hmm.